I'm slowly building all my inventory that I need for my camper van and that includes a hot shower. So how are you going to take a hot shower when you're in the middle of nowhere? This is an instant water heater. There will be a link for this one at the bottom of the video for those people that are interested in this particular unit. So you have, it has this little handle in the back. Also is designed to be installed on the walls. It comes with accessories in the kit. So this is a uh, the shower hose, very nice shower head. You got a little gasket and a little filter. This is not to clog the shower head. Why? It's because uh, you're going to use sometimes maybe uh, water from a pond or something like that. You get two little quick connects. So hot water is clearly labeled over here. Cold water is clearly labeled over there. And this one hooks up as a quick connect to it. Uh, there's one more thing that you're going to need. Um, this is going to be a connection for a gas tank. To test it out, we got the water connection coming in from the hose. Uh, if you have a van, you'll have to make a hookup from the van. Then you have your uh, water hose coming out and you have your gas tank. In my uh, case, the gas tank is hooked up over here. This unit was meant to be used outside. So this is very, very important. Uh, inside the van, unless you have a lot of open space, like uh, doors that are open and all that stuff, uh, there are gases that come out and you don't want to um, have uh, CO2 poisoning. So you should use it outside. Uh, you have two dials. So how much gas you want to use and uh, how much water, uh, minimum and maximum water. Last piece of the puzzle, two D batteries for the back of the unit. They have to be installed right over here, right under. Batteries on, water in medium, gas medium. This could be very, very hot. Gas tank is on. And you heard it, it just turned on. And instantly, water is hot, instantly. And then the shower head has two different uh, settings. So you have this setting and this setting for the shower head. I feel like I want to take a shower now. And if you push this button, it stops automatically. It comes back on, turns on automatically. So that's pretty cool. When you are done, all you have to do is disconnect the water disconnect this hose for storage you could empty it out by pushing this button and it would just drain disconnect the hose from the gas tank it does have a valve over here if you want to drain it completely of water but in my case i'm going to use it again so I'm just going to take it off and ready to go so here's the review part after i've actually used it it's very easy to set up i really like that part a couple of connections here and there and you're good to go don't forget you need two AA batteries. Not designed to run on 12 volt because it's not designed to run inside a van. It's designed to run outside. This is an outside shower. After a hard day of riding, coming back to a hot shower, it's quite amazing. But it does use some water. So just keep in mind that uh, showering takes some water. If you're somewhere in the Goonies, make sure you have enough water for it. The dials are very, very easy to understand. More water goes through, the colder the water is. Less water goes through, the hotter the water is. So you adjust it from here. If the water is not hot enough, then you adjust the gas to the max. Things that I am going to have to get for it, um, I will have to get some kind of like a pump because maybe sometimes I want to shower next to a little river or a little creek. So you're going to need a battery powered pump they can put water in it and suck it directly from the creek. The portable 20 pound gas tank is very, very easy to find. You can refill them or exchange them anywhere you want. So just have one of those. You're gonna need it for this unit. Also a storage bag. So in the box, it comes just with the box itself and you can put it back in the box and travel that way. But I'm going to get a little storage bag for it so I can put my hoses and all the connections that I need. So I don't have a surprise when I'm on the road that I forgot something, so a little bag for it would be really, really cool. So how performant is this unit? So I was using it at a minimum gas with almost maximum water. That means that there's a lot of wiggle room in there. It has a couple of safety features in it, including the fact that it will turn off if the water gets too hot, around 80 degrees Celsius or 176 Fahrenheit. So it has some, some nice features in it. As I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of the video for the product. If you're looking for a simple solution, there are more expensive units out there. Uh, this satisfies the needs that I have. This will be packed, put in a box and kept together with all my camping stuff. So when I got my van, which I keep dreaming about, everything is gonna go in and I'm gonna be ready to go. Thanks for watching.